As expected, more severe weather yesterday, this time in the southeast part of the state versus the northeast part of the state. Green and black here are hail reports. The black dots are significant hail reports, so that's two inches or more. Had that in the east metro, also a three inch hail stone, which is softball size in southern Minnesota. This is uh, the view of the hail here in downtown Minneapolis that I took. We didn't have a lot of large hail. We had a few quarter size hail, which is the minimum severe criteria, but we had a lot of the hail. That's because the storm developed in the western suburbs and then continued to grow as it moved east. It takes time to produce the larger hail. So the eastern suburbs saw the bigger hailstones just because there's more time for it to grow. The updrafts, that upward moving air, warm humid air that feeds the storm has to get going, keep the ice buoyant. And the longer that ice is able to stay up in the air, the bigger it can get as uh, rain cools onto the ice. So we can tell based on the hailstones how big that updraft was or how strong it was. And we did have uh, hailstones yesterday Yesterday, again in the East Metro, also Southern Minnesota, that were big enough, golf ball to softball size, that meant the updraft speeds were 60 to 80 miles an hour. A lot of wind aloft this morning, but not from uh, severe thunderstorms, but a jet streak here. Winds at about 17,000 feet, roaring at 100 to 120 miles an hour. And so the showers we saw earlier today had an elongated shape to them. You can see how they're all uh, pretty uniformly looking long shape. That's because of those winds southwest to northeast aloft starting at uh, about 10,000 feet up, which is the base of these clouds. This is from the weather balloon data this morning. Winds are at 60 miles an hour and then 100 miles an hour, 7,000 feet higher at 17,000 feet. So basically you can imagine that as these clouds formed, they're pushed outward and upward because the speeds increased as you went up from 10 to 17,000 feet. So that's how you get these long shaped showers that we had on radar this morning. Most of those are gone now. Uh, we've got some drier, more stable air moving in. 60s still today for eastern and southern Minnesota, but just 50s and even 40s only for highs today in northwestern Minnesota. This is going to be setting up uh, parts of northwestern Minnesota, especially for a cold night tonight. Frost advisories tonight, freeze warnings back into North Dakota in western South Dakota and same thing Saturday night. In fact, Saturday night could be colder for northeastern Minnesota. Lows early tomorrow, we will stay above freezing. Southern Minnesota, no problem, especially the Twin Cities, low to mid 40s, but widespread 30s across northern Minnesota and uh, frosty conditions possible again early Sunday. Very normal though for this time of year for northern Minnesota. In fact, these are the average last frost. Poor embarrass, you can't grow anything there. June 20th is the average last frost. Hibbing even June 1st. International Falls May 27th. And just for comparison's sake, April 24th is the average last frost for the Twin Cities. And I think we're safe this year. Highs tomorrow only 50 south, 40s north, setting us up for again an even maybe chillier night tomorrow night. And we're going to be in this cool upper level pattern, which means a trough. Uh, cool mid-level uh, air through the middle of the atmosphere and at the lower levels, but uh, an upper level ridge, high pressure ridge building back in late next week. So the timing is actually good. Get this crummy weather out of the way this weekend and early next week. It's going to set us up for a warm, but also maybe stormy pattern as we head towards the uh, first days of June here. This southwest flow, pretty typical to us. This is what we had last week that created some storms uh, and a back to above normal temperatures after this several days of cooler weather. So probably through Wednesday, we're talking below normal temperatures, 60s, even 50s only Saturday and Sunday. But then again, we're gonna get that out of the way so that we're on the other side of that for the holiday weekend, which I think most of us can agree is better. So 60s today, probably not even quite reaching 60 Saturday and Sunday in the Twin Cities. Again, 40s in northern Minnesota. Just some isolated sprinkle chances. That's the other piece of good news here. Nice chance to dry out. Lakes that are high, rivers are high. We really could use this stretch of dry weather. Uh, so uh, that looks to persist really actually through much of the holiday weekend coming up next weekend too. Mm -hmm.